girls, what was the most obvious hint you dropped, and the guy, just did not get it? My buddy in college was stressing over when to make the move to kiss a girl he liked. While we encouraged him to not wait for the perfect moment and just go for it, he admitted he should have tried to kiss her when they were in the shower. In the shower? Maybe she's just being nice by putting soap on my duck for me, how kind of her. Oh man she's such a good person, she's showering at the same time as me to use less hot water. She must love the planet. It's snowing. Just stay here. You can sleep in my bed. To be honest, I would just think to myself. She is really nice offering me that, I better not screw this up by trying to sleep with her. And then proceed to say, it doesn't seem so bad, but thank you. This right there. We were discussing costumes and I sent a picture of me in my bunny suit and said I'd need help out of it. His response was telling me he hoped my roommate was home or that would suck. I had to tell him I was implying I'd like him to take it off me, and it took him a minute to catch up. Edit. For those of you concerned it was very much a suggestive picture, I'm not sure it could have been perceived as just friendly, and no, you won't be getting proof of said picture for those in my DMs lol. I was very much ready to hit him with the bat of bluntness because we get along great and he'd seemed flirty with me before. Bless you for hitting him with a bat. Friend was complaining he was hot because of his long sleeve shirt. I said. Oh I'm sure you would be just as hot without the shirt. He was so unaware, but I finally just kissed him. This one is really sweet. I could use a spontaneous kiss. Never happened to me before. I once was modeling clothes I planned to take on vacation for my boyfriend. After showing off a couple of outfits, I told him to close his eyes and changed into lingerie. He opened his eyes and I asked him what he thought. His jaw dropped and he said, you can't wear that outside. I put my clothes back on. Complained I was a bit cold, so he gave me a blanket. I then told him there's space for two under the blanket, in an obvious flirting tone. He answered with, no thanks, I'm not cold. I still tease him with it once in a while. We're married now. Holy shoot. I'm mentally slow. I just realized I was him a week or two ago. I went on a second date with a girl to a hockey game, and I don't feel comfortable doing touchy-feely stuff until I outright say I'm ready to commit seriously. So halfway through she says, man it's pretty cold in here isn't it? And I said no, if anything I'm a little warm. Things went normally for the rest of the game, but afterwards I got straight ghosted Lmao. I couldn't for the life of me figure out why, but that may or may not be it. It could be anything really, but I hadn't connected those dots yet so I physically face palmed when the light bulb went off. I went out of my way to come in early and talk to this guy every day, for like a month, before someone else told him I was into him. I also repeatedly told him I liked him. He thought I was just being nice. When a girl admits to liking you a guy faces a dilemma one you could be joking and pulling his leg, two you just sympathize for him, or you like him as a friend, and that's it. In that order usually, really. I had a girl invite me round her house once just to show me her posters. They were all of Harley Davidson motorbikes, and she said she's never ridden a Harley before. Awkward silence and after a few other sort bits of small talk, I decided to be on my way. Two years later I'm sitting on the bus and realize what she meant. Harley. Ridden a Harley. My name is Harley. Dang, I feel so bad for her, that's a perfect line too. Gotta wonder if she bought those posters just to set up that line. A guy I'm currently seeing invited me camping earlier this month. We were cuddling and I noted how nice the showers are in the bathroom at the provincial park. I said, they're really warm and lots of space for two people trying to hint for him to join me for sexy time. This man without missing a beat says, actually, you could fit like 10 people in those showers. We laughed about it really hard the next weekend and he said, I knew what you were getting at, but my brain just wanted to answer it logically. I like that guy, smiles. I'm just here for the shower gang bang. Literally said, I want to be yours, and the dude just keeps smiling and goes on about random space facts. That one hurt a bit. What was the coolest space fact? Edit. Thanks for the other award guys. I can't recall, sorry. I kind of just reevaluated my whole flirting technique after that. 
Fair enough, I just wanted to learn about space. Guy here. A girl took my hat off, started running her fingers through my hair, and asked what did I do to get it so smooth. I proceeded to tell her all about the new shampoo I had switched to a month before until she cut me off. Well, don't leave us hanging, man. What's the shampoo? No head and shoulders. When I was like 15 to 16 this girl from school I had a huge crush on, kept inviting me to her house when she was alone, wearing the smallest tops and asking for back massages. I never got the hint. Years later when I started going out with my now fiancé, that girl's sister tells my GF, hey, my sister had such a crush on him back in school. I was not a bright teenager. Geez. Never missed one that obvious. I know right. I had confidence issues as a teenager that only went away in my early 20s. A girl came to my house once and spent the night. Around the time for bed, she told me she doesn't sleep with a top on her panties. I told her that's okay I'll sleep on the couch so she can be comfy. She called me from downstairs later that night and told me she couldn't sleep and she was cold. I figured. Well, obviously. Yeah, are naked. So I gave her another blanket and went back downstairs. Edit. Obligatory thank you for the silver and I'm glad everyone is laughing at my pain. I've tried responding the best I can, but some of you guys are getting weirdly mean and it kills the mood. Dang. I hope she wasn't hot. Very attractive. I was just trying to be a good person. I'm sure if Emily, from 15 years ago, saw this thread, she'd say. Invited this guy to my place after our date got him into my room, into my bed. He was just lying there so I told him my back was feeling sore and asked him if he could give me a massage. His reply? Oh I don't want to crush you with my weight, he was about 170 pounds. Gave up and went to sleep. Truth is I did get the hint. But at the time I was a virgin and I was convinced I had an STD, yeah a good combo. Turns out I didn't have an STD. Virgin with an STD. It's amazing what our teenage minds will come up with to make us even more awkward and weird. Damn toilet seats. Like, comment, and share. Reddit Story Topper. Subscribe now.